This is a quick tutorial video on how to use the clipping mask in Illustrator. I've got a new file open and on that file I'm going to place um, two pictures that I've just pulled off of the internet. I'd prefer always that you use your own pictures, but for the purposes of this, if you'd like to just practice with any pictures, I would understand. When you place your pictures, don't forget in Illustrator so you don't lose them for tomorrow, you're going to embed the picture by clicking up here and embed. So what we're going to do is um, take one of these pictures and create a shape over top of it. And I think I'm just going to make a, an ellipse or a circle. By holding down Shift, I can make a perfect cir circle. By holding down Alt, I can make a circle from the center. And all I need is that, just a circle. I'm going to place that circle where I want to cut into my photo. You'll see what I mean in a second if that's confusing. If I drag over both of those elements, the photo and the vector, and right click and make a clipping mask, all that's left is what was inside the circle. If I double click, I can actually move the picture around inside the circle if I didn't get the right area. So that's pretty darn easy for making a clipping mask. And any shape, any vector can be a clipping mask. If you want to release it or undo it, you can right click and always release the clipping mask. So let's try again on this one. This time we're going to make a circle inside of a circle. So I'm going to hold down Shift and Alt, and then I'm going to do the same with a second circle. This time I'm going to make a donut. So what I'm going to do first is click on the first circle, hold down Shift, click on the second circle, right click, make a compound path that will delete the center from your circle. Then you should be able to drag over both, right click, and make a clipping mask. So now I have a donut, which can create a pretty cool shape. I'm going to place a photo one more time and show you how you can also do this with um, text or with your monogram if you'd like to try that. So on this file, I have my monogram. I'm going to copy and paste or drag it over to um, my clipping mask file. Make sure it's outlined, of course, and make sure if any shapes were overlapping, you use the Shape Builder tool and combined. Same um, idea. Drag over both shapes, right click, and make a clipping mask. That allows you to um, pretty much do what you like and overlap all these shapes, make effects, uh, make outlines, drop shadows or outer glows look pretty cool with these, just to kind of create an interesting looking um, combination of layered and clipped photos.